forever. I don't even know and, the name. Ah. Now, come on, Mixie. You can share it with us. Yeah, surely, well, surely. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't know who you're talking about. I, you know, you've asked me this about three times now, you, and you're starting to, you're starting to like, totally get on my nerves here because <laughs> I just don't know this Ilsa person, and you just keep asking me. Like, not Ilsa. It's not, not too Ilsa. nice. Ilsa. It's kind of rude. I, totally. I, I've heard, I've heard that you're friends with her. The, the chef was just saying that you and her were hanging out all the time. Oh Jesus! So, she. Steps back and you know she says I I, I she just about a little she just starts ranting and you know she steps steps away well as she's stepping away a couple of these gentlemen to the table to the north you know kind of stand up and slam the bench back and and actually hits tap uh, tr uh, Trayvok hits the the chair that you're sitting on and kind of startles you and you look and these two gentle gentlemen behind you are standing up. And these guys are definitely look like they're fresh in the seaport. You know, they're definitely pirate-looking, uh, you know, gentlemen that you would see uh, in a port or something. One of them has, like, a, a peg leg. You know, one of them has a, a hook on his hand. And, you know, one of them says, uh, So, I heard you got a problem with the, the lassie here. And you could tell that this guy is just, you know, three sheets to the wind. So you got a problem. And then another I think perhaps you should have to step back before you get hurt. Well, let me tell you something, dwarf. I don't take orders from your kind. The only orders that I take is from my captain, mate. And you're not my captain. If what kind is that, captain? Are you yeah. saying a mate with your captain? No, I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> David, if they're doing that, uh, I want to get kind of close to Mitzi, get up behind her while these guys are fighting with the other dudes. Sure. So, as you stand up, the other two uh, stand up at the table as well. In fact, uh, let's see. Oh, I was already standing because I had my arm around them. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, the, the one guy, I got you. All right. But I'll stand up as well. Yeah, Trayvok as well. All right. So, so let's see. Oh, go ahead. I've got my mostly like full mug of really crappy beer that he's been trying to get me to drink all night. And I pretty much <laughs> just kind of, as I'm standing up, I just kind of trajectory that right into the dude's face. <laughs> Which one? Which The guy I've been talking to. Okay. The guy who mates with this captain. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be the first guy here, and if you hover That's over right. the token, it says Bandit Number Four. So uh, you can go ahead and give me a. Seeing that it's a, a thrown projectile, just give me a, a D10 with uh, agility on there. So give me like a like an agility check, and we'll see. You, seeing that you're using uh, an improvised type of weapon, like a dexterity check, or sure, yeah, dexterity check. We'll see if you if you hit. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Because I'm so good at dexterity. Oh, huh? I am today. All right. When it involves <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever whenever you want to, and, and, and I'll show you whenever we get into the combat part, but, yeah, you, you take that mug and you slam it. You know, the ale goes everywhere. This beautiful aroma starts to fill the air. You know, it just smells like horrible rot grut. And the, the <laughs> mug just slams on the side of the head of this pirate. So now let's go ahead and roll initiative because everybody's drawing weapons now. I would say, well, they, well while they're doing that, I want to make sure I get close enough to uh, to Mitzi to put a, a knife in her back or her side and kind of pull her away from the, the fight. But I'll go ahead and roll initiative too. Okay, yeah. Mitzi, actually, she really got out of there uh, quite quickly. All right. So, is there a way to uh, deactivate something while Fantasy Grounds is running, Doug, or am I, would I have to shut it down and deactivate the the sounds? Uh, no, that's the extensions are loaded at. That's what I, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's no problem. We'll, we'll 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 go on break in a, in a little bit anyway. Now I'll, I'll just deactivate it then. So, all right. So let's see. You guys, wow, you guys had good rolls on initiative. Yeah. Even even Graven with his with his ten. So, you guys have initiative. You guys can go ahead and go. You've got you know everybody else around you uh, is sort of backing away. 
Everybody's getting, you know, moving their tables. They're picking up their drinks, so you know they're not going to be thrown or, or spilt. And you know, Ma and everyone is kind of like getting down behind the bar, and and you can hear Ma saying, "Oh God, here we go again." <laughs> All right, so let's just, see. Just a regular night. Yeah, it is at the at uh, the bar. Sure, it is. Let, let's go That's right. to uh, Trayvok. It is your turn. Oh, your uh, turn. I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, I didn't realize you had those in the tracker already. We were practicing earlier, so you might want to oh. clear their wounds and uh, and <laughs> engrave it. You might want to untarget them. <laughs> yeah, not a problem at all. I see that. Let me. Uh... Uh, so Trayvok will uh, kind of look at these. Uh, look at these four pirates and uh, just uh, I mean are they reaching for weapons or does it look like it's going to be a brawl yeah they're they're definitely going for their, their weapons that's for sure looks like they're right. going to be pulling uh, you know like a, a slashing type of weapon out like a short sword alright uh, then I will stand up and just sort of uh, <clears throat> glare at them menacingly I'll pull my shield out uh, make sure I'm sort of adjacent to my to my friends here um, and just kind of try to, uh, you know, brandish my um, warhammer and sort of intimidate them and say, "This is not the fight you want tonight, boys." <laughs> We're always looking for a good fight, you scurvy land lover. You better go ahead and get ready to be beaten down by the boys. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just take my a dodge action and just uh, again try to stay next to my friends. Sure, that sounds good. Good job on that. I like that. I'm gonna use that. All right, let's go next. Let's go to Gildan. It is your turn, sir. All right, I'd I'd like to uh, hop up on the table, and uh, and and maybe uh, <laughs> you know a, as I do so, maybe just kind of like kick a couple of the. Uh, things of stew out of the way, maybe in their direction generally, if it gets on them that, that's fine as well uh, but not a, as a weapon, yeah splash them with some, some stew that they'll have as a reminder uh, for later and then um, don't need to make an acrobatics check to hop up there, probably depends on how fancy you're going to get I mean, if you're going to no, get just, a triple linden off of the floor, then I would no, say uh, nothing crazy, nothing nah, crazy All right, so I'll, there. No, no I'll there. just jump up to there and, and grab my whip into my hand and, and uncoil it and uh, I'll just ready ready uh, versus anybody getting close to uh, Travic. So as soon as the first one steps close to him, I'll whip him. Okay. Well, as you as you jump up there, you know you kick a couple of these bowls. You know one bowl sp splashes a uh, you know the pirates in front of you, and one of the bowls shatters against Trayvok's shield as well. So and got, like that cabbage, he's got this <laughs> soup dripping off of his shield. So. All right, that's it for Gildan. And, you know, I can just imagine you being there in, like, some kind of gladiatorial pose, you know, with your whip kind of, like, kind of <laughs> whirling around, getting in ready. I like it. All right, so Graven, you're up now. All right. So Graven uh, looks for a fresh mug of ale sitting somewhere, this cruddy beer that we've been drinking. Mixie brought some out when she brought the stew out. So, yeah, you can, you can definitely uh, have a mug. So, so I grab a mug. Um, and then I uh, open my hand, and uh, I like use firebolt to basically light that stuff on fire. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh it, is, it is very toxic. So I, I would say you could probably go and do that. Sure. All right. And so I light it on fire, and I look across, and I'm like, I don't think you know what you're messing with. Somebody's gonna get burnt here in just a moment. It's like a Molotov cocktail now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And he's been warned. He's been <laughs> so where are you going to throw this to? Who are you going to try to hit with it? I'm not throwing it. I'm oh, just going to. I'm, I'm holding it while it's burning, and so I'm like, like one looking at like, are you serious? Cocktail drinks with an umbrella, yeah. in it, pretty much. And okay, we'll, I got gotcha. you. We'll, we'll call this a, my my feeble attempt at intimidation. <laughs> hmm. I'll tell you what. Give me a give me an intimidation check, and huh? you can do that. Give me a yeah. Give me an intimidation check with disadvantage, because of the the pirates like to fight and they're drunk. So I'll if you get a good enough roll with disadvantage, <laughs> you don't. No. Uh, <laughs> doesn't mm -mm. seem like it phases them at all. No. Okay, that's cool. Somebody could be on fire here in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, what about you, Sylvia? Okay. Gorski. So 
when Soon she started do. raising a fuss and kind of backing away from the table before these guys got up, I'm tracking her the whole time with my eyes. So when I start seeing her move, I'm kind of following her. So by the time these guys sure. are whipping and throwing and smashing each other's faces with beer, I'm probably already up behind her and I want, kind of want to pull her aside and have my knife in her, her side and be like, you know, now you're going to tell us where she really is. You know, give us the, or, or, I'll, or I'll kill you here and we'll walk out of here in, in, with all the disruption in okay. Sylvia's crazy accent. Okay, so she she was here, <laughs> and she moved back to about right here. She she wants to get between, you know, the counters so she can actually you know she wants to. There's like an opening under the counter where the servers you know just kind of duck their head and go under the counter. Okay, so that's so, pretty much where she's heading to. So as soon as I you know can basically, unless she's like right next to it, then I can kind of move you know right next to her here. But I didn't do if it. there's like, I didn't do what it. You do? No, the, I heard sirens in the background. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's my, that's me. I'm right by the, the freeway here. <laughs> but um, and so I can kind of grab her before she goes underneath. And and in heck, we could even duck down. I can kind of pull her down as she goes to duck under and kind of do it there where no one can kind of see me threatening her. Okay, so when you grab her, she's going to try to pull away from you. So you can go ahead and give me either a dex or a strength uh, check, and it'll go against her. You know, reflexes as well. Well, her her strength or deck. So, go ahead and oh wow, Ooh, nice. nice. I can't pickpocket, but apparently I can bully the waitress. <laughs> <laughs> so you you have her. So she's she's struggling, and you know she's kind of trying to go under this thing. So uh, you have her. I mean, you have so her. What, actually, so once so once we're kind of down, you know, I've got the. I'll bring the the dagger up to like uh, her throat area, and I'll say, mm -hmm. okay, now now you tell us truth about whatever her name is, Ingrid, Elzid, whatever. Ilva. And no holding back, or this will be your last night. Yes, understand? Uh, 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 okay. Uh, like, like, Wicker. just listen and I to poke, me. Poke it in her, her, hey, 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 like, totally wait. Don't, don't sick me at... <laughs> what's show, what's show, yes, I'll yes, tell great, you about Ilva. I just gotta get out of here. I just no, gotta get out No, you tell me now, or you get out of here and buy it back. Yes? I, I, where are you from? You have such a weird accent. Yeah, I'm from the woods. Yeah, in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. You tell me. Oh, and I start to cut her a little bit as she's stalling. Hey, 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 hey. Look, lady, I can't tell you in here. Like, totally. I can't tell you. I don't know who's listening. I can't tell you. I, I cut her a little bit more, but like, then say good night. Yes? Good night? I, I, they'll kill me if I, I... I think they'll kill me if, if, if I tell they you. They kill you, I kill you, you end up dead. No, I, I, no I difference. Live, I live on the top. I, I, live, I live here. I, I, we can go up and talk. Let's go to okay, my you place take and talk. Me up, you take me up like customer, and we do it nice and friendly. No one gets hurt, yes? I've, I've never had a customer like you. You have a customer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so she tells you that She'll take you to her place. It's on on top of of the Boar Tavern. So she starts to lead you back. Yeah, I've got like way. one arm around her, the other arm real and kind of close so that she can't really slip away from the knife. Yeah, no, she she's not even trying to get away from you, but she's just kind of leading you. And with the rest of your movement, you and especially you know you're not really trying to restrain her, so she just pulls you. And with your movement, that's about where you're you're going to go because the door is down here to the south. So okay, yeah. So that's it for uh, Sylvia. So let's go ahead and do some of these uh, these good old uh, bandits as they these pirate guys as they pull out their short swords and their scimitars mm -hmm. and they start to uh, you know a lot of people are starting to back away and and form like this big circle around the room and you can hear bets being placed. I've got I've got twenty on the boys. I've got ten on the boys. These guys ain't. These guys have never been beaten here. I've never seen them lose any fights. You should have seen what they did to those kids the other week. So the first, the first uh, mm. savory uh, fellow here, he he actually moves up and moves around the table. So let's see. He's going to stand right here. He's going to try to get to uh, Gildan. He's going to try to stick you in in your leg as you're standing on top of the table. Okay. All right, Son Gildan is a horrible miss, <laughs> and he he basically just whiffs big time, and you're able to jump <laughs> over his attack as he yeah. slashes at your legs. And I'm still kind of holding my whip, ready to strike whoever comes up next to Travok. 
Did you have a an action held? I have a readied action versus someone approaching next to Travok. Yeah. Straight ahead. So okay, I'm looking yeah. at these two guys here. Almost within five feet of that trigger, but so not not quite this. Yeah, this guy didn't quite trigger. I'm just ignoring him. I'm okay. I'm focusing on the two guys that were talking. Okay, sounds good. All right, next this guy here. Now he comes within the space of Travok. Now you're yeah. You have he's on the other side reach, of me. Right? So yeah, I've got a weapon with reach, but I can't really see him that well. So I'm I'm gonna keep okay. focusing on the. The well, two. You, you can actually see him pretty good. I mean, you you have the the elevation on the table. So oh, and he's dwarf. You want, yeah, yeah. And yeah, if you dwarf. want, you can attack down. <laughs> he's a dwarf. <laughs> so yeah, you have, right. you have the the you know the the height advantage. So yeah, go okay. for it. And so since he's adjacent to somebody, I can get advantage too. Uh, let's see. Or not, not advantage. I'm sorry, advantage, but I can sneak, attack. sneak yeah. attack. Yeah. If I hit, if I hit, yep. yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. So let me uh, see if I can hit that guy. Little little whip action. <laughs> Try not to take your take the top of your head off there, uh, Travok. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, you know, he uh, pulls the scimitar out and he goes, "Start! <laughs> I've got you just where I want you, half elf." As he looks like he's <laughs> fixing to attack the the dwarf. All right, now I was dodging, right? so he should be at disadvantage if he's attacking. Yeah, me. yeah, he's definitely going to be uh, at disadvantage for sure. As he attacks you, and that is a miss. Fifteen versus AC, definitely a miss. Mm -hmm. All right, next, another one. You know, uh, I think dodge works the entire round, not just one attack. Right? It's all right. attacks, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you'll get another uh, attack at disadvantage. Nice. nice. All right. Another miss. I'm liking this dwarf. Yeah, I'm having a. An <laughs> it's got some good skills. Coming up, every, anytime any dice is rolled, I'm, I'm having a. I think it's because of the uh, the sound extension. So, the last attack. You're gonna get uh, another attack, Mr. Trayvok, at a disadvantage. Such a such a powerful. Uh, oh wow. Sixteen nice. is a miss. So you've had three of these guys whiff at you. You're actually making them look pretty bad. And you can hear one of them saying, Come on, boys! Why, I can't believe you didn't hit this dwarf! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're up to round two. Let's go ahead and take a, uh, a quick break. I have to see what happens All with right. this uh, flaming uh, beer that, that you're holding <laughs> on to. That. <laughs> this <laughs> Molotov cocktail? I'll, uh, bet you, I'll bet you three gold coins that uh, you don't drink that <laughs> it's got a little oh, flaming a tiki umbrella too. I'm not gonna take that bet. <laughs> That's the same drink you get for free when you're playing the slot machines, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about as good too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we are back at uh, round number two. Well, up to round number two, and Trayvok. It yeah, is so Tra your turn. Trayvok is, uh, you know, ha holding a shield up, fending off these three pirates. Sure. Um, seeing as they don't seem to be backing down, he's gonna hold his warhammer up and smash the one uh, that first started talking crap, which I guess was the guy in the middle, right? Yeah. Bandit yeah. four. Yeah. All you right. can tell when they were attacking you, uh, Trayvok. It doesn't yeah. seem like they were trying to go for blood. They were using. It looks like they were using like the flat of their blade okay. as their attack. So. Well, I will do the same thing. I'll just use the top of my hammer instead of the. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. you, you <laughs> I love it. You hit with a fourteen right. versus the armor class. Nice. Smash him. Very nice. As day. you as you smash into him, he, he staggers back. I say you have another chance to step off, boys. It's not going to look good for you. <laughs> Keep going, boys. We haven't been beat. The boys haven't been beat yet. We're gonna we're gonna show these guys a lesson for picking on good old Mixie. Nobody messes with Mixie, not when we're on watch. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> and you can just smell this rot gut, you know, just billowing over your shield as you're just getting a a huge waft of this. Trayvok. All right, so uh, let's see. You've hit, and we'll oh, go okay. to Gildan. No, it's okay. No problem. Gildan, you're Gildan. Up. So was it uh, was it Bandit Four doing the talking just now? Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, the one in the middle. All right, let me let me see if I hit him first before I talk a whole lot of smack. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> You hit him. Okay, good. Years. Yeah. All right. So I did hit. So uh, let, let me turn on my sneak, sneak attack Rocking damage here. And uh, I'll be like, it sounds like the rock gut's not the only thing that stinks in this bar. And then I'll uh, smack him with, with my whip. And I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll try to pull it. I don't know how you pull <laughs> sure. it on a whip. But, you know, whatever. I'll just <laughs> snap it in such a way to... Well, yeah, you, you have such a great hit with your whip, it kind of wraps around his neck and chokes him out before your <laughs> whip releases, and he falls down. Seems like he's either dead or unconscious. So, yeah, but he is definitely down. And the other two guys are like, whoa. Uh, look what they just did to Bob. We got to get him. So it looks like they're, <laughs> they're going to attack more feverishly <laughs> I saw what you did to my friend. Bob. <laughs> Look what they did to Bob. Darryl, the human palindrome. Yeah, Daryl, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> is one of them Larry? Bob, Daryl, No, this is Daryl, my other brother Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, anything else? Go ahead and pass it on. No, I'm good. Mr. I'm good yeah. Okay, Graven, you're up now with your Molotov cocktail. All right, so Graven is going to hold on to that mug of uh, fiery <laughs> ale, and he's just going to basically splash the fiery ale, the entire contents of the mug, mm -hmm. onto uh, to bandit number one there next to, to Gildan. So what kind of a, a role do you want for that? That's that's a gray area there for five E. I know what I know what Chris or I know what actually Jeremy or Mike would say. It's totally up to the DM. That's what all their tweets say. It's that's up to the right. DM. So. There you go. I will say it. Let's go ahead. Seeing that you have it there, let's do it in like a. Uh, we'll say it's like a cone attack. So we'll say that maybe he needs to do a dexterity saving throw or something. So all right, and, sure. Uh, we'll see if he can kind of dodge you out of the way of it. So. Uh, we'll say that it does. Uh, what would it be? One d eight for like a like a splash fiery sure. sauce. Okay, let's do a, a a dexterity check real quick on on this bandit here. All right. Um, dex save. Sorry, and that will be a. Uh, anyway, it, his first Double roll save, was a yeah. miss. So, all right. All right. So. Um... Let's go ahead and roll some damage then. Yeah. Uh, just a D8 fire damage. A D8 then. fire, yeah. Seeing that it's right. not an official okay. attack, we can't, you know. Well, we could. Uh... Did that come up? No. All right, so you'll do four. You'll do four fire damage as, as everything kind of splashes on top of him. All right. So and he's trying uh, to pat himself out. He's he's yelling, "Stop, drop, and roll! I'm on fire! <laughs> 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 I'm on fire! Stop, drop, and roll!" Top drop and roll. Um, yeah, and Graven is just gonna drop the mug and pull out his warhammer. <laughs> He's like, uh, "I'll put you out." <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Nice. All right, so uh, Sylvia, what would you like yeah, to do? Just, just we're just gonna keep so... headed upstairs. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> for this round, you basically get out of of the boar and you start to get up the, the staircase and you know there's a couple of the people coming out of the tavern, a couple of the other patron you know, a couple of the patrons are coming out and you know she starts to lead you up up one of the staircases. All right. And okay. she's not putting up any kind of resistance or, or anything like that. Okay. All right, so let's see the bandit that is actually he drops to the ground and he starts mm -hmm. rolling around on the ground. And he's yelling the whole time, Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, drop, and roll! I'm on fire over here! I could, I could use a hand! So we're going to say that's that's him. Uh, the, the next bandit is going gonna, is gonna to try to attack Trayvok. He says, I've got to get one lick on you, dwarf. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. He hadn't showered for days. Oh, what a crit. Oh, wow, ouch. nice crit. Oh. So, Trayvok, you're going to take... 18 damage, which is actually a uh, quite a big oh. hit. Yeah. So he he actually really knocks you for a good loop, but he hits you with the flat part of the blade, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, 
He says, that's what you get for mixing with, uh, messing around with Mixie. <laughs> Next bandit climbs up onto the table and is going to go for Gildan. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to uh, interpose my shield there uh, with my protection fighting style, so he has a uh, disadvantage. Sounds good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sounds good. Most players don't. Uh, most players don't use that. I like that. Good job. So let's uh, let's do one more attack, and then I'll just. Uh, I, I rolled pretty quickly on that, so we'll see if uh, this other attack. Uh, disadvantage would be a miss. Thirteen would have been a hit, but a twelve is a miss. Nice. So nice, nice protection. I like that. Yeah. Thank and you, Dwarf. Bandit attacks Trayvok as he turns around to assist Gildan. I thought he was passed out. Oh, oh no, yeah, he, he is the one. Yeah, he's the one that's. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. He's the one that's incapacitated. So I need to. Uh, yeah, I totally uh, drop the ball on that. I need to put uh, unconscious on him. All right, so he's unconscious. All right. Trayvon, you're up now? Um, I will... Uh... I knew I forgot something. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> uh, I will look at this one that just hit me, um, mm -hmm. and I will smash him with my Warhammer again. Well, okay. not again, but once. Uh... The fire! It's all around me! It's engulfing me! These fire us! <laughs> They're engulfing me! They're everywhere. Nice. I These... smash him with the Warhammer for eight uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my uh, bonus action this time for a second wind. Oh, very nice. He's played a fighter before. I like it. Actually, this is the first time I've played a fighter. Really? Uh, nice. Yeah. For very nice. Five, oh, very so, nice. And so 11, I'm um, full, backup full. Awesome. I'll also make a second wind. Uh, I'll write that down on my list of stuff to do. I'll make a second wind healing pendant for you. Okay, awesome. So you will just uh, have to drag it, and it'll all it'll just go ahead and add that to your uh, sheet for you. So I'll add that Sweet. on your sheet this way. All right, Thanks. nice. All right, I'm done. Very nice. Gildan, you're up. He, uh, he's just I like, think... oh, whoa, where'd that come from, mate? <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think this guy uh, to my right, rolling around on the ground, looks like a pretty good target. So uh, <laughs> since he's prone at all, right? Yeah, the, the bandit, bandit number one. Yeah, he's rolling around. The fire bees are everywhere. They're on me. <laughs> yeah, so he, he looks like a pretty good target. So I'll, I'll see what this does. I'll try and crack the whip down to him and act like I'm going to bring it back up for the next guy. But oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were down there. And, the bees, uh, they're making the flesh melt off of my... My flesh is melting! Alright, so you have advantage and you hit. So. Alright, cool. Uh, and then that's uh, sneak attack again, right? Since he's got a warhammer out. Yeah, plus he's beside he's beside you and Graven. So, alright. Uh, oh, I didn't get my sneak attack. Oh, you dang it. forgot to add this oh, D6 and we'll add that yeah. on there too. I thought I clicked it. Missed it, uh, but no, alright. Not a problem. Yeah, he goes down. He basically stops... Uh, <laughs> He stops twerking around. Seems like he goes unconscious. <laughs> Those kids and they're twerking these days. They're twerking it up. <laughs> and uh, actually, I'm going to use a uh, my action to dis disengage first. So uh, my bonus action, right? So I'll step back to there. All right, sounds good. Actually, right to there. Yeah. And they've moved out, so. Uh, Mixie and yeah, they're not actually there. Yeah, yeah they're not yeah. actually there. We're okay. gonna set them off to the side. So, all right, let's go next to Sylvia. You guys actually get up to she. You know, she's fumbling. Hey, around. you just uh, get me. Did I did I pass over Graven? I did. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Graven, what say you? Um. So uh, the guy who's dying on the ground right next to me, who's on is he still on fire? <laughs> <laughs> he's smoldering. <laughs> he's smoldering. Yeah, he okay, but but he's die. Is he on? Is he not, dying? Not dying, dying. No, I was, you can, I was holding my. You kind of look my at him, and you, you see him. You t see him take a couple shallow breaths. Yeah. So he's not uh, okay. Dead. All right then. Um, Down to the fight though. I so it looks like. Ugh. Who's that standing next to Gildan right there? Is that guy out too? 
Oh, uh, this is the server that that, that server. just totally just ran away. Oh, yeah. It was another server. Yeah. Oh, okay, so three, four. We got bandit three and bandit 